Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens, Aries male or female watching. Thank you so much for joining me for this message. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys are going to be enjoying your beautiful day, making the most out of your day, staying productive, uh, transmuting energies, okay, and receiving the messages that you're getting from the divine. <clears throat> All right, Aries, my beautiful male or female watching. I have a few messages written down in my notebook, but I got a few messages right now as soon as I press record. This message is specific for somebody that's watching this video or that's going to watch this video. Your ancestors are letting you know that something major like is going to happen in the world, okay, Aries, and this might affect you in some sort of way. This, whatever's happening, could be happening in the world, it could be happening in your community, it could be happening in your neighborhood, it could be happening in your state, but it could be happening in the whole world. Okay, so this might bring about some change for whatever it is that you do for work, okay? So there might be something that happens abruptly, um, and you get some sort of message, email, phone call, and it's going to... Put you in some sort of mental prison. When you get this news, it might put you in mental prison because you're not expecting this to happen. Okay, so something could be abruptly ending. Something's ending because there's something major going on. All right, it could be in your uh, company, at your workplace. It could be in, in your building where you live. Okay, so I'm picking up on an energy of somebody watching my videos you could be dealing with a fire sign as yourself, Aries Leo or Sag. And this person's been meddling in your business or behind the scenes. This individual has been trying to um, get you put out of something. They've been trying to get you put out of something, maybe getting you put out of a home, getting you put out of a job, getting you put out of uh, some sort of endeavor that you are a part of. You could be a part of a group of people. This could be a spiritual group of people you're a part of. This could be, um, like, you could be a part of, like, the community, um, the, the community um, functions, or you're in charge of something at your workplace. Whatever it is that you do, it's important, right? Whatever you do, it helps other people, or it's important, and you love what you do. Somebody doesn't like to see that you're thriving. Somebody doesn't like to see that you're being recognized in whatever it is that you do, whatever field it is that you work in. Okay, so Aries, male or female watching, I'm picking up on this message intuitively that go with the flow, Aries, because if there's something that's ending, if there's something that's coming to an end or something that's going to be changing in your environment and your reality, don't hold on to it for dear life. Don't beat yourself up about it either. This is what they want you to do. The divine is allowing something to come to an end. So that way you can think outside the box. So that way you can get out of your comfort zone. Because it is not your comfort zone. Alright, so I'm speaking to somebody that you've been getting a message from spirit to leave a situation behind. To walk away. To... Put yourself out there to find something new, to get into something new, or God is giving you a new assignment. All right? Because whatever you've been doing for work or whatever you've been doing um, to maintain your finances, whether it's work, whether you have a side job, whether you work for yourself, whether you work from home, whatever you do for work to maintain your finances, to, uh, to get stability, whatever you're doing, it's not making you happy anymore. It's like, it feels like you did all you can do in that aspect. So it's like God is giving you a new assignment, putting you on a new path. And you could be resisting this transformation or you could be resisting this decision that you need to make. So there might be a tower moment and God is making the decision for you. And something's going to end regardless because it's going to happen in a weird kind of way. So when you sit there and think about it, Think about this. 
God's been telling you to walk away from whatever this is for a while now. God's been telling you to leave this person alone for a while now. Somebody could all of a sudden be locked up, get locked up, get arrested. Or somebody all of a sudden ghost you, don't come back around. All of a sudden somebody gets injured really badly and they're in the hospital. Or all of a sudden somebody could pass away. Something definitely is happening and this is being orchestrating, orchestrated by the divine as divine protection for you, whoever you are. Okay, because it seems like there's like a scheme or a plot, like a scheme or a plot or some sort of scam. Somebody's trying to pull on you. Okay, so this person's doing something strategically. So be mindful what you're signing. If you're signing paperwork, make sure you read it carefully. Make sure you read whatever it is that you're signing. Somebody could tell you this is something else and, and tell you here, sign right here and you don't read it. You could be signing something that you didn't even sign up for. They're trying to get you to sign some sort of paperwork without you actually paying attention or knowing what you're actually signing. Somebody could have actually falsified your signature as well. And I'm picking up on, I picked up on this energy of an, okay, I picked up on this energy of an indecent, ex, indecent exposure or indecent proposal. Okay, so somebody... Somebody, your mother, your father, your family, this uh, elder in your family, they could have made a deal for your soul when you were younger. They could have sold you to the industry or sold you to an organization, so to speak, because they allowed this organization to do um, spell work on you, to do uh, experiments on you, to do MK Ultra on you. Um, and they, they almost... Uh, it's like... They almost compromised your soul because at one point in time, you could have felt like you were going on a dark path. Like you were doing things that you knew you weren't supposed to be doing, but you were being controlled and manipulated by a lot of spell work, mind control, MK Ultra, childhood trauma, people telling you bad things about yourself to make you believe that that's who you really are, something like that I'm getting, I'm picking up on. All right, so... Indecent, indecent exposure is basically like somebody is um, taking photos, videos, or con like, I, I picked up on this in yesterday's video reading. Indecent exposure is coming out to the light. They sold you to the industry at a young age, and they send photos and videos of you without your knowledge. Wow, to the puppet master who's been obsessed with you for so long, Aries. Male or female, there is a main character in your situation, which is your puppet master. The puppet master that has simultaneously done a lot of things to you in your life to harness your energy, put you on a dark path, uh, and to try to actually sacrifice you from awakening to your purpose. Because if they sacrifice you and you didn't get in your purpose and you took the dark path, then they, these, this puppet master is obsessed with you because you are very valuable to the divine. So this person feels like they will get high ranking in the dark spirit realm for actually um, handing you over to this organization. This family member that did this, they're in deep regret. This family member that did this, they, this could be a family member, an adoptive mother or father. Maybe you were adopted at a young age. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't for some of you guys. But this, in the, this individual is in deep regret. And I feel like there's two individuals, a mother and a father, or a mother and a stepfather. It could be a, a a father and a stepmother, whatever the case may be, whoever raised you guys, you're starting to question your whole reality because these individuals, they know what they did. They sold you to the industry and to the puppet master because they knew you were going to be a star, a born leader, that you were the million dollar baby, you were gifted, you were reincarnated. These people were doing, um, they were getting spiritual uh, like work done on you as a child or contacting like mediums and psychics to tell them about you and your past past life or who you really are and yeah so they knew everything about you they knew about your gifts they knew all that so that's why they it was some sort of orchestrated trauma that you endured in order to put you on a dark path and that wasn't their choice to make so whoever this person is and his family member is or the, the, these people are this couple they're under judgment okay so there's sickness illness Mental health disorders going on with this this karmic couple in your family. It could be mother, father, auntie, whoever it was that raised you, grandparents. Well, these individuals 
are facing heavy judgment. And they could be reaching out to you out of nowhere. They could be showing up at your house, reaching out to you. All of a sudden, they're looking for you. Because recently, this is the month of October, so this is like when the devil wants to harvest all these souls, when the devil wants to um, do the most uh, attacks onto the chosen. So you got to really protect yourself this month, Aries, in the month of October. All right? Because they're trying to do something or they have done something all over again. Because they want to put you back into, into your past. They want to put you back on a dark timeline. They want to orchestrate some sort of uh, psychic attacks, insanity spells to make you lose your mind. Somebody watching this video, there's some sort of proof that somebody got a student loan using your information or your identification card. They stole it or maybe you lost your identification card, your ID. You thought you just lost it, but somebody actually stole it. And they use this to somehow get some sort of student loan using your information or some sort of loan committing bank fraud. There's proof of evidence and there's facial recognition of this person. This karmic is not you, but they look like you. They could be a family member, close family member, male or female. These orchestrated crimes against you, there's an investigator that's on this karmic's trail. They found out that it wasn't you. They're watching this karmic. Every transaction this karmic makes, male or female, they're going down. So like I said, you could hear about this. Somebody's in jail. You're receiving an official mail or letter explaining to you what has been done and what's being investigated. It turns out that somebody close to you had photos of you or your ID and your social security number. And they committed fraud and they got loans and used several different banks. They're going to jail. Wow. That's what I picked up on. All right. So yeah, somebody's... You're going to get information or you're going to get communication or you're going to get the memo that somebody's in jail or incarcerated. They thought they could get away with it and get the job done. You're an indigo starseed. You're a healer. Somebody's going to try to approach you or contact you, come towards you and beg you for forgiveness. They're going to admit to you what they did because this person already got the notice that they're being summoned to court. And that they're facing jail time, and you're going to get a notice, or something. this person's going to reach out, and they're going to try to, like, beg you, whoever you are, for forgiveness. And you're busy loving yourself here? They never expected you to actually love yourself? They did so much uh, identity theft and spell work? Your good heart and humble soul saved you from going to the dark side Wow, because you never lost your faith, and this is what they weren't counting on. They put you through so much orchestrated betrayals, orchestrated events. It was all a setup, all right? And then I heard, it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine, Biggie Smalls, all right? It was all a setup. It was all a dream that they could get away with this. They wanted. To, it was like, it's all about the Benjamins, so it's all about the money, all about the Benjamins. Somebody's name could be Ben or Benjamin. It's all about the Benjamins. It's all about the money. That's all these people cared about. That's why they wanted to set you up. That's why they wanted to get all this money um, using your information. And then so that way it could look like you stole this money or you weren't going to pay it back or you, you did something. But these people are being caught. Okay, they've been exposed. They've been caught. And they could have been investigating you, Aries, for some time. Um, you could have been under investigation because these people were using your information, making you look like a criminal. Yeah, I know where you live. So this under this investigator, all right, this investigator, this detective, they know where you live. They're going to show up. All right, it's because your own family doesn't like you. All right, your family doesn't like you or your ex's family doesn't like you. This could be your ex's family or your ex got involved to help them get away with this crime against you. Yeah, there could have been an ex that got your information and gave it to these people, all right? Because you could have been sleeping one night and this person could have went into your wallet, into your purse, into your personal info. They could have stole it. They could have took photos of it. Yeah. You're having a spiritual awakening about this. Yep. This, these people try to say you were selling your body or somebody that you're dealing with selling their body, working for the devil. Let go of toxic people you did, and you let go of these people right on time, so they can't get away with the crime. Taking spiritual baths, and you're awakening suddenly when you get this information. Somebody you're dealing with, undercover lover, gay, you're going to find this out. Important information coming fast. Because they're obsessed with you, they did this. Somebody has a baby boy, you or them. 
Win-win outcome. Yep, this is a win-win outcome. You're going to be vindicated. Somebody could have slept with somebody's own daughter. Somebody's own daughter could have been involved in this crime. Remain calm and meditate. All I want is you now. All right. Somebody from your life, from your past, you didn't get it off the ground with this person because, like I said, there was a lot going on in your energy around this time when you met this individual. Or there was a lot of individuals that were involved and keeping you stuck and stagnant when it comes to your love life. So when you started to deal with this person, you could have told certain people in your life that you were seeing somebody, this person. They knew. Somebody knew. They started to do some sort of separation spells or they started to do some conflict magic. Or they started to get into this person's ear about you. And then this person ghosted you or maybe walked away. Maybe they decided to go back to an ex of theirs and then ghost you. And you're wondering whatever happened to this person. Mm -mm. Don't go back. It's a trap. Okay? So don't go back. It's a trap. Somebody could have twins. So somebody's going to try to make, like, ask you to meet up with them somewhere or come visit them or go back. Somebody wants you to come back or, like, like maybe go back to an old job or go back to an old lover. Don't go back. It's a trap. All right? Don't go trusting these family members or these individuals that you know were working against you because they're trying to take you out, to silence you for good because this is all coming to, this is all coming to a... You know, this is all coming to a head that there's a court date or there's people being summoned to court here. Somebody's dreaming about you right now. They see you in their dreams. Okay, this individual. They want to come towards you. Yeah, move in with me, please. All right, somebody wants you to move in with them. They have a huge house. They want you back or they want to start something new with you. Maybe you've never been together, but this person always had feelings for you. They're going to propose to you, Aries, or they're going to give you a major offer. They've been making plans behind the scenes to get a home for you guys to live together. All right? For some of you guys, you got your own place. This person might end up moving in with you if you guys get into a solid connection. This is Divine Intervention 777. Please unblock me. Somebody is blocked from your energy, and they're, like, begging you to unblock them. All right? Maybe you change your number and they can't get a hold of you. This person has a lot to say, Aries. This person is going to make some, some confessions to you. There's this private investigator that was illegally watching you. Illegally watching you, private investigator. Okay? Because you're chosen. Evidence is in your favor, my love. All right? So don't worry if you feel like you've been being watched. Heavily surveillance. You've been investigated for something and you don't know why. This is why. Somebody using your identity. Somebody using your identity. Doing fraudulent things. Getting money. Doing crimes. Because they know you're born, you're a born leader. You're meant to be a spiritual teacher. Receiving your inheritance is here. All right, a father figure was involved. Whether your child's father, father figure keeps coming out in every reading. All right, they've been trying to poison you. So caution, don't eat or drink nobody's food. Be careful what you're eating or drinking right now. You're moving away and you're starting over. All right, you guys are protected. New information's coming to the light. Moving to calmer waters. I'm coming with gifts. Somebody could have been putting something in your water. That's what I heard. Losing you destroyed me. Somebody could have a blanket, um, i seen a blanket with like a wolf on it, or like a wolf, somebody could have a tiger blanket, somebody has a wolf blanket, like this could be a throw blanket, fleece blanket, or this could be an actual comforter, somebody could have a wolf blanket, um, an eagle blanket, or like some sort of tiger print blanket, that's what I've seen in my mind's eye, this could be you or them. Whoever you're dealing with, the letter E, F, or G, they're under spiritual judgment. Flat tires. Somebody could have been flattening your tires or somebody's cars having issues with their car. Everything is reversing and backfiring. These are the things they wanted to do to you. You were destined to have a gifted son or daughter, or you do. I heard Ronnie, Roger, Ramirez, Ronika. Caitlin, Catherine, Cassie, Cassandra, Andy, Annie, Lorraine, Lauren. And then I heard Kansas City or Kansas, Alabama, New York. Talented artist, all right? You could be a very talented artist or a talented artist could be interested in you or your work, my love, because you're very talented. 
So there's this water sign that's coming in. Water sign. If you see a red cardinal, that's significant. This water sign is coming towards you. You guys are meant to be together, partner together, or work together. This person could come to present you with some sort of offer. You were adopted, childhood trauma confirmation for somebody watching, not for everybody. Fire sign, soulmate. So there's a fire sign for some of you guys. That's your soulmate, Aries Leo Sag. And for others of you guys, it could be a water sign that could be a soulmate coming in. Your child's father sick or ill, or your father. Childhood trauma you could be healing from. Sister lied on you, all right? A sister lied on paper on you, or some family member lied on you. Blue car, blue truck, or SUV. Black car, black truck, or SUV. Somebody has light eyes, hazel. Hazel eyes, somebody's name could be hazel. Henry. Carlos. Nick, Nikki, Nate. Nathaniel. Natalie. Jason, different nationalities. Somebody has short blonde hair, the letter W, X, Y, or Z, S, T, U, or V. Somebody's a smoker, you or them. Somebody's getting locked up because they're criminal-minded and all their, all their uh, lies, deceit, and betrayals, them stealing from you. Yeah, celebrity could be involved in your situation for somebody. You guys could be dreaming with celebrities, brother figure, or celebrity that you know, or this is somebody that has a lot of followers online or they're popular. They could be um, famous online or something. Red car and SUV or somebody wants to be online famous. Yeah. Three days you're going to get an important phone call. All right. In three days something's going to happen. It's going to be revealed. And this is going to like shake you to the core because you kind of had an intuition about all of this. But when it, when it's officially in front of your face in the paperwork, their full moon magic is backfiring. An auntie. An auntie. An auntie could be sick or ill, or auntie could be passing, or auntie's gonna have to confess something here. Ooh, wee, an auntie. Bald head male could have been involved too. Alright, a lawyer was involved. All these characters, they're all involved and they cannot hide it. They can't cover it up anymore. It doesn't matter because the right person has your case. Aries, the divine, send the right person to pick this case up and to do these investigations and to bring you justice once and for all so you can clear your name. Yeah. Wow. You could be relocating to a new home for a new life. Yeah, you could be getting random headaches. All right, take yourself a spiritual cleansing. Take yourself a crown chakra cleansing. You can get some crown chakra protection spray. It's available. If you guys are interested, email me. All right, that's all I use. But you guys could be having frequent headaches, migraines. You could be having pain in your third eye. You could be experiencing a lot of, like, dizziness, fatigue, or ringing in your ears. Um... Yeah, you could be experiencing, like, hearing high-pitched sounds. Kundalini awakening. They're trying, to, they're trying to block your third eye. Somebody wants to invite you out on a romantic trip or getaway. Be mindful if you don't trust this person. Somebody could ask you on a trip. Like, they're going to try to be romantic and say, Oh, let's go on a romantic trip. I want to take you out, winding down you. But this person could be sent by the organization. So be careful who you're going on some sort of romantic trip because this person could take you to the woods and you won't ever come back. So don't go to the woods, to the cabin, hiking on a trail, uh, picking up on woods, like a hiking trail, mountains, cabin, some sort of lake. But it's out like out in nature where like you can't even really get a phone signal. Don't go there. All right. Don't go camping. That's a specific message for somebody. All right. This is your message. I hope this helped. I love you guys. Until the next time. Namaste.